All right, Toronto, we're back. And it's time for us to continue our GM mode commentary with the Toronto Maple Leafs. The last video, we got the season simulation underway. We're 23 games into the 82-game regular season with a record of 9, 11, and 3. So no surprises here. The Toronto Maple Leafs weren't expected to be an elite squad, bottom-of-the-barrel type squad, uh, and we're right there. 9, 11, and 3. Still a good chunk of the season to go, so, I mean, we could turn it around, but I don't see that happening. I do like the way our young guys are playing though Austin Matthews William Nylander Mitch Marner those guys are actually producing and they're growing their player growth I mean Austin Matthews is already up to an 82 overall and because of that I was reading your comments hang on a sec I'll just show you guys I decided to give Austin Matthews second line ice time the second line was uh, really struggling with uh, Tyler Balsack Nylander and McCallick so I went with Austin Matthews on that second line we're gonna see if we can continue the growth but Mitch Marner because he's still a minor scoring forward we're gonna leave him on the third line with Balsack and Lupul, all right? So those are the only edit line changes or line changes that we edited. Um, I might as well get you guys caught up, though, for anyone who missed the first episode. Uh, we tried to sign Chris Russell in free agency. We thought that would be a perfect acquisition for our top four. Maybe, you know, get us into those playoffs or at least a playoff run. I gave him a sizable contract, but he decided to go with the New Jersey Devils, so we didn't get our hands on Chris Russell. And after that, we started the season simulation. I had to lower the injuries because my god they kept on happening poor Morgan Riley's fractured jaw I don't know if this guy's going to be able to eat solid foods if he takes another puck to the face so Morgan Riley's been injured multiple times but we lowered the injuries I think down to five out of, out of 100 so we'll see how it uh, plays out we're still just tweaking with the series so if you guys have any suggestions go ahead and uh, let me know in the comment section but for right now we're just going to simulate let's get ahead uh, I don't know how far we're going to get in this video things could change man we could we could we could all of a sudden start losing games and it's a lot easier to make trades and a lot easier to simulate. Or we could continue to play like we've been playing in the last five games. If you go back the last five, we are 4-1 and one with the loss to the Edmonton Oilers over there. But win against Carolina, win against New Jersey, win against uh, Washington, and win against Calgary, right? So maybe, maybe we're turning a corner. I've said this in the last video, Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, and Nylander, they weren't as good at the beginning of the season as they are right now. So our simulation should improve as they improve, right? And we're only, what, a quarter into the season? They could be mid-80s. Mid so I'm going to keep this team together. I know we had a few trade baits come in, but uh, I'm not going to make any trades just yet. I also have to worry about chemistry, boys. If Austin Matthews is friends with a guy like McCallick, you know, I don't want to trade him away. Not in a season where I'm trying to grow Austin Matthews. So let's see if we can continue this. See, the Boston Bruins want to give us a second for Roman Polak. It's a solid deal, especially for a rebuilding team, but uh, we're only 20 games into the regular season, boys. I want to keep this team together for right now. That second round pick will still be available come the trade deadline for Roman Polak, so decline that. The reason I have the trades going for the trading block, I want to see if anything incredible pops up. So that's uh, five... Five out of the last six because we beat uh, the Vancouver Canucks and then a loss to the Minnesota Wild. All right, so five and two in our last seven. So here we go, divisional game in the Boston Bruins. What are they? What's their record? I, did I see 11, 11 and six? Yes, I did. So the Boston Bruins not having a good season, boys. It's not 2011 anymore. Uh, yeah, 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 simulate. So we're going to continue to simulate divisional games. I know uh, it does take a little bit longer, but as long as we're in the season, I want to keep an eye on the players, all right? Oh, man, it's a great first period for Tarana. Komarov, Kadri, and Mitch Marner. Marner, keep on getting those points. Uh, second period, uh-oh, uh -oh, oh no, oh no, Jake Gardner, Pasternak, and Brad Marchand. It's in the Boston Garden, baby. It's a 4-2 lead for uh, Toronto going into the third period. We've seen this before, haven't we? Come on, Toronto. Frederick Anderson shut them down. Third period, ooh, David Backus gets one, but the Toronto Maple Leafs take it 4-3. Nice job, Leafs. Three stars of the game. It goes to Leo Komarov with two points and Nazem Kadri with two points. Okay, so that first line of Kadri, JVR, and Leo Komarov, um, they're certainly, they're certainly good enough. I mean, they were plus players. That I, I, was Kadri and JVR close to point per game? I think they're close to point per game, right? So that first line, I didn't want to break up. They're playing pretty well. Holy crap, we got a lot of, a lot of games that aren't divisional opponents here. So what is that? Six of our last eight, six and two. Beautiful. I'm just gonna keep a record of that uh, since we started playing well. I'm just gonna just keep that record in mind. 
All right, all right, all right. So we've already done the 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 large batch scouting for the OHL forwards and the defensemen, right? Let me spend a little bit more time looking at the scouting screen. Oh, hang on, hang on. Rangers coming at me for Roman Pollock decline. Stop the sim. Stop the sim. Stop the sim. All right, so that's a three-one loss to the Colorado Avalanche. Injuries are not happening now, boys. Maybe I could increase them. And again, just go nuts in the comments. Uh, what was I doing? Scouting, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we have we spent six weeks in the OHL for forwards and six weeks in the OHL for defensemen. Let us see if there are any players out there that we can pin, I think it is. Uh, view all prospects in region. Okay, hang on, hang on. How do I do this? How do I do this? Do I have to switch it back to the OHL first before I can check out the players in the region? So let me just go forwards for six weeks. All right, go in here. There we go. So we have... Do we have anybody pinned? See, I'd love to be able to take a look at where the rankings are. Is there a screen in this, boys, where it shows, like, uh, who is projected to go first overall out of everybody? Remember on the old gen, it would be like a scouting report, and it would take into account everybody here? Uh, so Keating, bottom six forward, bottom six. Okay, and what about defenseman? Let's see. AHL top two defenseman, Hayden. I mean, eh, I got to get used to... Uh, I got to get used to the scouting in this. This is where you guys can help me out. View all prospects in region. Edit scouting assignment. Is there a screen that just shows, like, who's projected to go first? I don't see it in here. Scouted players. Here we go. This might be it. I might have uh, goofed that up. Scouted players. They might be in here. List all scouted players. There we go. Oh, okay. So these are all the players that I've... Uh, oh, okay. There's no way to... Let's see. Bottom six forward Keating. There's no way to take a look at their ranking, eh? Hmm. Okay. Well, I can pin some players, can't I? Uh, hey, is this guy a right-handed defenseman? You know what? I'm going to pin that. Pin to watch list. Any defenseman who happen to be right-handed, I want to uh, pin. All right, so, because we're going after defense. So, Radish, right-handed, sure. There you go. Pin to watch list. They're saying AHL top four, though, and high. Damn it. I don't know. The player's potential as predicted by your scouts and the accuracy of their predictions. The skill of your scouting staff and the time spent scouting players increases their accuracy. Okay, how do, I, how do I increase my uh, scouting staff? All right, so you guys can let me know in this video how to uh, improve, or how to ha handle scouting in this game, all right? I don't want to waste too much time going through that. You guys can help me out in the next, uh, for the next video. Let's just continue the season simulation, all right? So we're just going, uh, you know what? One more thing, one more thing. I forgot I sent that uh, scout back out into the OHL. Let's send him somewhere else, uh, scouting. Let's try the, uh, the dub. All right, uh, edit scouting assignment. Let's go to the WHL for six weeks. Boom, defenseman, defenseman. If we can get just a bunch of nice young prospect defensemen, maybe get a steal in there. I mean, the team is set. We have the forward core of the future. I mean, Nylander, Marner, and uh, and uh, Austin Matthews is basically, it's not all you need, but with Kadri, JVR, we have trading assets to go out and acquire other forwards, right? But those guys are the core for the future. Like, you can build around those three forwards. Morgan Riley, Jake Gardner, I just need that one right-handed defenseman who could be a stud. And uh, this, this team looks like it's set. So here we go, boys. The Toronto Maple Leafs have been playing well, but now we have a Western Conference road trip. Let's see. So it's a loss against the Colorado Avalanche. The, the defending Western Conference champions, the San Jose Sharks, they're looking like a good team. Arizona, Pittsburgh, Phil Kessel, all the way down here to Florida. Yeah, we got a lot of Western Conference teams. It's not the end of the world to lose to them, but we need the points right now. We already have 13 losses. Let's see. That's a one nothing victory over San Jose. All right, so what is that now? That's 6 and... Uh... At 7-3 in our last 10, I believe. I may have goofed that up, but we're still playing well. Ever since we started to win, we're playing well. Ah, uh, 7-4, not looking great. How do you lose to Arizona after beating San Jose? Jesus. Uh, all right, 8-4, still pretty good ever since we started uh, playing well. Oh, 9-4, here we go. Come on now, boys, keep it going. Colorado. Forward, we've made it back to 500. Ah, oh, but then we got two losses in a row. We were 14, 14, and 3. All right, so then that went to like a 10 and something. Shit, I, I've lost count, boys. But it was a solid end to November and a solid December for a Leaf team that no one really expects to to bring anything to the table, right? I mean, that's, that's good. And as long as we're playing like that, our young guns are going to get plenty of ice time and plenty of experience. All right, so... Now that we've done that, I have to keep an eye on, or I have to try to remember to take a look at the activity feed at the end of every month. It updates, I think, every month. I want to know what's going on going on around the NHL. So no trades happened in the last month. Morale, I don't need to worry about that. Any injuries? Let's see if any injuries are happening around the NHL. No player injuries. All right, so we just went through a month there and no injuries happened. I think I'm going to increase...
going back to old gen, it affected the sim, and so far it seems like it's affecting the sim. But maybe it's just coincidence. Maybe I just got hit with the injury bug early, and now I'm uh, now I'm doing all right. So here we go. The 11, 19, and 5 Florida Panthers. They are having a crappy year. The, the Toronto Maple Leafs are having a better year than them. We're having a better year than the Buffalo Sabres. Hell yeah. All right, so simulate. Let's see what we can do here, boys. A divisional game. I haven't given up on the season just yet. I think if we can just continue to play like we did in December, have a good January, we might be within playoff reach. First period, it's a 1-1 tie. Austin Matthews, nice job, Matthews. Second period, 2-1 lead for Florida. We're going to lose to another shitty team. We lost to Arizona twice, and then we're going to lose to Florida. Third period, a 4-1 win for the Florida Panthers. Not good, boys. Don't need to take a look at the three stars. We got hammered that game. So Austin Matthews chipped in with a goal there, but it wasn't enough. So calendar, let's go to the end of the month. We can check a... Yeah, Tampa Bay. Let me go up to the next divisional game, and then we'll take a look at everything. Detroit. All right, there you go. All right, so simulate up to this day. Let's, uh... Oh, wait, Tampa Bay is in our division, too. What am I talking about? Well, too bad. Too late. <laughs> loss to Florida. Shootout loss to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Damn it, we were at 500 with 14, 14, and 3. Now we're at uh, three games below 500. All right, so there's the All-Star game. I'm not making any, tra any trades just yet, boys, but let's take a look at our team and the standings. Get you guys caught up. Get the story getting told a little. Ah, uh, shit. Stat Central. There you go. I'm still trying to learn all the <laughs> how to navigate these damn screens the right way. So team stats. Let's see how the Toronto Maple Leafs are playing. Uh, I won't even look at the uh, the divisions right now. Let's just take a look at the entire league. All right. So total points. Let's see. What are we? Let me just flip them around. Toronto Maple Leafs are 27th in the NHL for points. All right. So I mean, <laughs> I maybe wishful thinking. Uh, assuming that we can maybe get back in the playoff hunts. Ah, I just don't want to tell the young guns, you know, give up on the season. That's for the older veterans. The young guns, you got to play competitively. That's the only way they're going to learn. You'll turn into the Edmonton Oilers 2.0 if you don't. Goals four per game. Let's see, where are we? Yeah, 20. We're third worst goals four per game. So we're not scoring goals. That's the problem. Goals against per game. Let's see. Uh, I think we're keeping the puck out of the net pretty well. Yeah, we're in the middle of the table for goals again. So our defense and Frederick Anderson, uh, they are keeping us in it. If we could just find a way to score more goals, we might actually be pretty good. 19.4% for power play. We are, yeah, 14th. Uh, I think that's 14. 19.4, the top guy is 28. So Los Angeles Kings power play definitely came down. That thing was up there at like 45%. Remember that? Penalty kill percentage. We have one of the worst in the league. Like bottom 10, it looks like. Bottom 12, something like that. It's not good. All right, in our last 10, let's see. Where's Toronto? Last 10. Where are they? We are 4, 5, and 1. So, yeah. We had a good December, but now it's uh, not a good January. Not a good start to January. So let's see who our leading point man is. For forwards and defensemen are. So it's Nazem Kadri with 33 points in 35 games played. This is my point about the first line. Yeah, they're letting goals in, but uh, JVR, Kadri, and uh, Leo Komarov. It's a solid first line for a Toronto Maple Leaf team that is trying to grow, right? These guys take the hard minutes while you allow the younger guys to flourish underneath. 24 points in 35 games for Austin Matthews. He's now up to an 84 overall, boys. Look at this growth. He's listed as a second line forward. I might have to throw this guy in the first line at, by the end of the year. Holy crap. Okay, that's the next thing I got to check out, growth. Mitch Marner's up to an 81. He's got 20 points in 35. William Nylander, he's got 15 in 35. He's still a minus 9. I, I'd love to fix that number, but what are you going to do? And then the veterans. All right. Uh, defensively, we got Jake Gardner, our leading our team in points with 16. Morgan Riley with 9. I'd like to see a little bit more uh, point production out of Morgan Riley. He's now an 87 overall. All right, so we're, we're getting some nice growth here. And Frederick Anderson, let's see what his uh, his save percentage is. It was .918 before. It's point. 921. I mean that's 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 a solid save percentage. If we could just get him more goal support and some better defensive coverage, that goals against would go down and also our point totals would go up. Frederick Anderson, I'm I'm happy that we have him. 27 years of age, a perfect guy to help grow the youngins. All right? So that is the stats. Last but not least, let's take a look at the progress reports. Uh hang on, where do I go for this? Shit, where do I go for this? <laughs> Manage roster, correct? 
Uh, captains and jerseys progress reports. All right, so Austin Matthews is flourishing this year, boys. We uh, we definitely gave him the right line mates. Let's see, Austin Matthews. Yeah, he's gone up by 21. Here's his stats. Let's see. Oh my God, his uh, his puck skills is nice. Senses is getting up there. Shooting category, hell yeah, man. He'll turn into a shooter eventually. I want to see. Can I take a? I can't take a look at his morale from here. Damn. All right, well, whatever. So there's Austin Matthews, boys. Morgan Riley, he's got some nice growth. Kirby Reichel. Is Kirby Reichel, what is he now? I might have to change him. I might have to put him up to the third line. He's an 82, so I'll switch that around. William Nylander, he's got some nice growth. Carrick. Uh, Mitch Marner, slowly growing. I might have to put him back on the... I don't want to put him on the fourth line. Why is he not growing as much? He's got the medium elite just like William Nylander. I might be playing Mitch Marner in the wrong spot, boys. Maybe he deserves to be on the second line. Hmm... Let me know what you guys think about that with Mitch Marner. I want to figure out why he's not growing as much as Austin Matthews and Willie Nee. All right, here are the defensive prospects. All right, Soshnikov is getting some nice growth in there. Yeah, everyone's growing down here. Lepsik and capping in. These guys look like they're going to just cap off at maybe low 80s, mid 80s, something like that. Uh, and uh, can I look at the goaltender? Let's see if Frederick Anderson... No, Frederick Anderson's not growing at all. So, boys, the Toronto Maple Leaf squad is its changing. It's evolving over the course of the regular season. And I'm hoping that, you know, its we're not halfway through just yet. We could have a just go on a tear if I can get the right line combinations and if we can continue to grow. All right, so Austin Matthews. I'm going to leave Austin Matthews as a second-line center until he grows higher than Nazem Kadri. I like the way the first line is playing. Not going to touch that. Uh, Austin Matthews, William Nylander. You know what? McCallick, I'm taking you off. I'm going to put uh, Mitch Marner on that second line, boys. Uh, that might be a bad idea. Might be a bad idea. He's still listed as a minor league scoring forward. He's listed as a third line scoring forward. Shit, what do I do with uh, Mitch Marner? I'm trying to get him to grow. I don't want to piss him off. Uh, what's, his, what's his morale like? Hang on, boys. Morale. All right. Who's the uh, best locker room chemistry with any team? Matt Martin. Corrado, Reichel, William Nylander. So get him on the line with William Nylander. What about Austin Matthews? I need to look at this stuff if I'm worrying about uh, trading away veterans. Kirby Reichel, see, he, he likes Joffrey Lupel. He wants to probably play in a line with Joffrey Lupel. All right, so Joffrey, you're going to go up there with Austin Matthews. All right, who else did you like, Austin? Uh, let me just try to get a morale line. Kirby Reichel. Kirby Reichel. Power forward. Uh, no, he'd be more of a third liner. Boom, put you up on the third line. Let me try Mitch Marner on the fourth line, boys, because he's a minor league scoring forward. He may be playing too high up right now. Let me just try him back there. Let me see if I get any negativity from him, him being on the fourth line. Peter Holland and McCallick. All right, so it'll be like a a offensive fourth line. Kirby Reichel, Ballsack, and uh, Matt Martin. And then Lupul, Matthews, and William Nylander. All right, so I'll go like that for offense and defense. Morgan Riley, Hunwick, uh, Jake Gardner. I got to split up Jake Gardner and Morgan Riley. There's no point in putting them on the same line. Uh, we would just have a, like, that would be a great line, but then the, the other four would be horrible. All right, uh, let me just quickly take a look at special teams, the power play. Uh, you know what? Austin Matthews, you're going to go into the middle here. Kadri's playing pretty good. No, you know what? I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave that power play the way it is. Mitch Marner. You know what? I'm going to give Austin Matthews second line power play time, but uh, as the centerman with William Nylander and Mitch Marner and get McCallick up there on the first line, all right? Spread it out a little. Let's see if that helps Austin Matthews. Well, uh, he just may not be producing as a winger on the first, right? So we'll see, boys. We'll see. So there you go. We did some nice line changes. Took a little bit uh, <laughs> took a little bit longer than I wanted. But I'm not giving up on this season. I think we can do something. But um, I'll make you guys a uh, compromise. We won't do any divisional uh, uh, real-time simulations now. Let's get up to the All-Star game. Because we took some time there, let's get up to the All-Star game. A 2 nothing win over Detroit. I want to see a good January here. A, a shootout loss. All right, shootout loss. Not horrible. 1-0-1 one, oh, one in our last two. Let's see, against New Jersey and Chris Russell. They're 20-15-5. and five. He may have made the right choice. Uh, oh, 3 0 oh, 1 ever since we made these new line changes, boys. We're back to 5 freaking 100. 17, 17, and 5 against the New York Rangers. Here we go, 3 0 oh, 1. Let's see, against New York. Uh, 3 0 oh, 2, not bad. 4 0 oh, 2, holy shit. Undefeated in regulation so far in January. 4 0 oh, 2 are the Toronto Maple Leafs. We're coming back. Roman Polak, new, no, new, no, new. No. Holding on to these guys maybe the morale changes have helped maybe mitch martyr on the fourth line has helped right six four lost above buffalo god damn it so four one and two uh ah four two and two and there you go back below 500 so we had a good couple weeks there Oof, eight two win against ottawa hell yeah 
All right, let's get down to the All-Star break. Uh, the All-Star break, which is uh, non-existent once again for current gen, but at least they have uh, for owner mode in there. Uh, edit scouting assignment. So we just did the WHL for defensemen. Let's go to the QMJHL. All right, and uh, everyone who's not Canadian, I'm sorry if you feel offended, but Canadians are the best at hockey. Deal with it. I'm going the OHL, WHL, and the QMJHL before I go to Europe or Sweden or America. All right, sorry about that, boys. Something just popped up. But we did not have, we had a great first two weeks of January, and then we came crashing back down to earth. 6-4 loss, 7-3 loss, 6-3 loss, 4-1 loss, 3-1 loss. I mean, you just doesn't get much worse than that. 19-22-6. I don't want to give up on the season just yet, but I was hoping for a better January right there. It came crashing down crashing down so we're halfway we're past the halfway mark of the season let me just go back to uh line changes i have to keep an eye on austin matthews this guy becomes first i'm not making the same mistake i made with jack eichel back in buff oh there he is boys there he is he's official it's official austin matthews is tearing it up this season let's go with him on the first line what's his morale like all right so he likes oh shit low locker room chemistry is joffrey lupa what am i thinking shit i might have just pissed him off i'm sorry i'm sorry there you go you got first line ice time you can play with james van reemsdyke all right so austin matthews oh william nylander getting that growth as well william nylander who do you like playing with uh lievo marner and gardner all right so he likes playing with marner marner who do you like playing with marner have you been playing better since you got down here on the uh let me see full career stats what was he at before he's got 28 points now holy shit did he just come back out of nowhere Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, shit, I gotta go back, boys. Did Mitch Marner, since switching him to the fourth line, all of a sudden turn into a point-scoring machine? Hang on, hang on. Ah, uh, shit. So freaking hard to navigate this stuff still. Take a hint from MLB 16 uh, player stats. Let's see, did, did he catch up to uh, William Nylander? Let's see. Oh my god, Mitch Marner went on a tear. So, it's Kadri now, Austin Matthews is third, Mitch Marner is fourth. He came out of nowhere. So, putting him on the fourth line, boys, I guess the fourth line can score goals in this now. He passed freaking William Nylander. Maybe I should have William Nylander on the third line. He's listed as a third liner, though. What is uh, Marner listed as now? Still a minor league scoring forward. Okay, okay. Might have been uh, also putting, what's his name, Austin Matthews on the second line power play. That's another thing i got to change right now. All right, so edit lines. I'm not giving up on this season, boys. I ain't giving up on this season. We can do something. Still haven't had any injuries, right? I might have to change that again. Shit. Uh, maybe the injuries don't... Uh, fuck. You guys let me know. Uh, Kadri... What was I doing? I was doing the power play lines. Yeah, Mitch Marner. I'm going to leave him on the, uh, the fourth line. He's kicking ass down there. Uh, Kadri, Lupul, and... Yeah, that could work out. But Joffrey, you know what? I put you up there. I don't need you up there anymore. I'm going to put you down there. I'm going to put McCallick because he's better with Kadri and William Nylander. Joffrey Lupul, you can play with Ballsack and uh, Kirby Reichel. Uh, ooh, no, 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 no. Leave Joffrey down there because Mitch was playing good. And then the grindy third line while the goal scoring fourth line. Just the switch with Lupul and McCallick. All right. Yeah. Let me go back to the power play lines. Let me see what we got over here. Austin Matthews has got to be given first line power play time. Now, Kadri, you've been outclassed. I'm sorry. Kadri, you can play with, uh, you know, what? I'm going to give William Nylander first line power play time as well. Mitch Marner, you can play with McCallick and Kadri. All right. Morgan Riley's up to an 88 overall now, boys. So. Uh, this is what I mean about not trading away and tanking. It, I don't mind tanking if we got a bunch of freaking hosers on our team. That's not going to be a part of the future. Morgan Riley, Matthews, Marner, and Nylander. I want these guys to, to, to flourish, to blossom into something brilliant. And I have to give them good players to play with. So, I mean, we're not clearly not a playoff team, but we're playing well. You know what I mean? These guys can at least have fun this year while playing. So let's get back to that calendar. And uh, let's go up to... Let's, let's go another... Oh, yo, shit, 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 forgot. Oh, we're at the end of the month. Got to check out the uh, activity feed. It's very important for storyline purposes. Any potential trades that may happen. Trading, no trades have happened. Uh, maybe it's only updated every two weeks. I'll have to take a look at that again. Shit. No trades are happening. All right, so calendar. Let's simulate ahead again, boys. And let me know again with the injuries. Yeah, that's another month that they haven't happened. So where is this the trade deadline? Trade deadline is right here. So yeah, we might as well go all the way up to the trade deadline in this video, boys. Let's see. Can the Toronto Maple Leafs, that's the last line changes I'm going to make. Dallas Stars, that's a win over Dallas. Uh, the St. Louis Blues, let's see. That's a 5-1 loss. All right. Just play well enough to stay, stick around 500, give some wins to Austin Matthews, or get some points for Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, William Nylander, get some goals. There you go. Win-loss, win-loss, win. -loss, win, -loss, win. 
I mean, we're right there, right? Anaheim Ducks, they want Roman Polak to climb. I'll get to the trade deadline for that. We'll take a look at the, oh, Morgan Riley's gained morale because of ice time. Well, he's in the same spot he's always been in. Well, good job, Morgan. All right, the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, Roman Polak, man, teams want Roman Polak for that uh, playoff run. Look what he did with the San Jose Sharks. Got them the hell out. Helped get them to the uh, Stanley Cup final. I don't want to say got them there. Uh, yeah, you know what? I mean, we're that kind of team. Look at this. Win, loss, win, loss. Win, lo win, loss, win, loss. I mean, we're we're better than a lot of people assume we would be. You know, we're not bottom of the barrel. We're back to 500, boys. 26, 26, and 6. Hell yeah. We're winning games, baby. Hell yeah. Our young guns are flourishing. I like this. This is a good season. And our AHL squad is 34, 19, and 3. So a solid year for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But now that we are at the trade deadline, I would agree with you guys. It's time to unload a little bit. But not just everyone. I still want to keep the guys who are playing with Austin Matthews and the young guns together. Together. So let's just go back to line changes. Let's see what we have. And I'll tell you who is trade bait and who is not. So Austin Matthews up to 86 overall. Has he stopped growing now because I put him on the first line? Should he be back on the second line? I mean, he was growing. You know what? I'm putting him back. I'm putting him back. He was growing a lot more when I had him on the second line. I'm going to leave him back there. All right. Uh, Mitch Marner, he's growing now that he's on the fourth line. He's up to 82. Maybe William Nylander should be on the third line. All right. Maybe now that we're... Uh, we're going to the end of the season. Get these guys playing in the right positions. You guys let me know. Would it be better to have Matthews on the first or second? He didn't grow at all since I put him on the first, right? Maybe it's too much ice time for him right now as a 19-year-old. Let him grow instead. I'll let you guys chime in on that. Uh, okay, so Matthews. Let's see. Who do you like? He doesn't like Lupul. So Lupul, he, he could be trade bait. Let's see. Uh, William Nylander, do you like Lupul? Let's see, Morrell. Uh, he likes Lievo, Marner, and Gardner. He likes uh, Roman Polak, boys. So if I were to trade away Roman Polak, I'm going to hurt uh, William Nylander's chemistry or his morale. And uh, I don't know if I want to do that, right? So Roman Polak, I'm going to have to think about that. Uh, and uh, Mitch Marner, let's see. He likes Matt Martin. So Matt Martin and Roman Polak might be guys we want to hold on to instead of trading away, boys. Just so we can ensure. I mean, what's more valuable? A great season from the three young guns that we already have or a second round pick. You know what I mean? I'd rather ensure that these guys finish the year off with a big smile on their face and maybe one of them win the Calder. So I don't like trading. I don't like the idea of trading away Matt Martin or uh, or uh, who's the other guy? It was Roman Polak. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I like that defense. Let's go back to Morgan Riley. Let's see what he's got for uh, morale. He... Reichel, a ball sack, and JVR. So Tyler Bozak might. Uh, I was thinking about trading away a ball, uh, ball sack, and Morgan Riley likes some. Damn. So those are the four players that I have to worry about. And what about goaltenders? Goalie, Frederick Anderson. Who does he see out there as uh, solid defenders that he wants to see stay? Uh, he likes Milan McCallick. So McCallick, Polak, Martin, and uh, Jesus, man, I can't trade away anyone. And ball sack. Joffrey Lupul is somebody we can trade away, boys. Joffrey Lupul, but he's playing on the fourth line with Mitch Marner. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So, we got some questions, boys. Do we hold on to the team and let them play out the year, considering that they are having a good run? Or do we try to acquire uh, 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 second-round picks and third-round picks and mess up the team chemistry and maybe, you know squander their morale for for years to come i don't know how it works i don't want to have these guys say you know i don't want to play in toronto anymore that would be horrible so uh this is where you guys come in to help out gm superb man i need my scouts all right so uh where do i go for the trade block let me see what's on the trade block around the nhl boys if there's a stud out there that's different i just trading for a draft pick at this point we have so many young prospects anyways uh browse trade blocks if it's a trade i can't say no to then hell chemistry can't come into it but uh, for a second to mess up chemistry, I don't know. So Shane Doan, Verbata, and Martin Hansel, 30. Nah, I don't want Martin Hansel. We're fine there. Dominic Moore, no. Uh, Brian Gianta, no. We know there are plenty of first-round picks and such. McClement and Bickle. Let's see if there's any young kids out there. Radke, 20 years of age. AHL top six, no thank you. Colorado, uh, Bittner, here we go. Medium top nine forward, power forward. Low potential, but... Uh, no, 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 sorry, not low potential, low trade value, but again, that would be somebody that you could acquire for depth for next year. 70 overall, power forward, third or fourth line. Uh, that wouldn't be a bad trade, just to get somebody. Uh, Hints, playmaker, medium top six, a low trade value, a center. That would be nice, say like uh, Tyler Ballsack for Hints, if he's got a good uh, face-off category. You know what, hang on, let me see, can I take a look at his 
card from here? Yes, you can. Nice job, EA. His face-offs is up at 76. Uh, puck skills passing. Defensive awareness, not the greatest. But again, just a young prospect who's already 74 overall, so you might see some growth out of him. Uh, Detroit, why are you guys trading away your older players? They're like the top of the league. <laughs> uh, Yarmir Yager, that makes sense. Florida Panthers not doing good. Spencer Watson, a top nine forward, a sniper. Nah, I like the other two guys before him. Uh, good Branson, AHL top two defenseman, don't need him. Uh, Jerome McGinley and Farnham, grinder, don't need him. Uh, Kearns, don't need him. Grop, a medium top nine forward. I think he's a power forward, so the same thing as Bittner. Uh, that would be a nice acquisition if we could get him. Uh, Trennan, a top nine medium playmaker. Eh, medium playmaker, top nine. Pascal Dupuy. Logan Brown. Ooh, here we go. The Ottawa Senators are looking to trade away Logan Brown. That's a good one. All right. This guy was drafted 11th overall in 2016. He's already listed as a fourth line forward. He hasn't played in Ottawa for some reason. He's six foot five. I mean, if you're talking about building your center core for the Toronto Maple Leafs, Austin Matthews, you can maybe go, I don't know exactly who we want as our second line center. I could always put Mitch Marner or Nylander in there, even though I kind of want to play them more as wingers but uh, to get a a tough physical defensive power forward center with a face-off rating of 75 that would be a nice combination Austin Matthews then you go to this guy right if you look at his defensive category it's not bad so uh, Logan Brown boys that's the one I got my eye on right now from the Ottawa Senators Logan Brown let me see. We'll go back to that afterwards. Gordon, Streit, new. Uh, Daniel Sprong, 73. Top six sniper. That wouldn't be a bad bet either, boys, to the Pittsburgh Penguins. We need to find snipers for our playmakers, right? So that wouldn't be a bad bet. AHL top six. Don't need him. Don't need him. Uh, Ty Radish, top six. Medium sniper. Again, we need snipers. That wouldn't be a bad bet. Uh, the Vancouver Canucks are trading away their vets. Uh, Grinder, AHL top six. Okay, so out of all that, I think the uh, I think the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins with Sprong for a sniper for the playmakers would be a nice acquisition, but also a center Logan Brown so that we can build that center core. Yes, we got Kadri, we got Matthew. That's who it was, Kadri. If I hold on to Kadri, you go Matthews, Kadri, and then Logan Brown as the third line center, the the physical guy, the guy who kills penalties, right? So trade for player. Let me see this guy. Trade for asset. Let's see who the Ottawa Senators would uh, be willing to take back. All right, so add item. Uh, all skaters. Hang on. No, I'm not giving you freaking Austin Matthews. Uh, skaters matching the block. All right, so they want Matthews. Obviously, Nylander, uh, Riley, JVR, Carrick, high top six defenseman, Kadri, Kirby Reichel, Jake Gardner, Komarov. All right, so we get into these guys now. McCallick, Polak, Abozak. They all have kind of the same trade value, but the chemistry. You're going to be messing with the chemistry, which is something I don't, necessarily want to do but uh if you guys say it's a solid trade and it won't affect us that much once we get to the off season then uh i'll think about it let's see what's his trade value so you'd have to get a lot in there you'd have to go something like hang on let me go let me see it again uh skaters matching the block you'd have to go like uh McCallick back to ottawa for one more year all right and then you'd have to add in a draft pick in there as well uh all skaters i could also just throw in some of my some of the guys that they don't even have, like Timoshev. Timoshev is good, right? Medium top six forward, but another playmaker. I already have, I'm going to have so many playmakers on this team. And you're basically upgrading. You're, you're saying, all right, we don't need a winger playmaker because we already have Nylander and Marner. We're going to change Timoshev into Logan Brown. We're going to change a winger playmaker into a center power forward and then add in the veteran on top with one year left. So you have to look at it like that, all right? Yes, Timoshev, I'm sure, has a, uh, a bright future. But uh, if we're going to get a nice center, we're going to have to give up something there. And I think that would be, I don't know, the trade itself is, is, is fair, but just that mindset, all right? You unload a veteran for a young prospect, but you also throw in one of your prospects just to sweeten the deal. I don't, I, screw the draft picks, boys. I think the Toronto Maple Leafs are past the draft pick stage. Um, acquiring them would still be nice, but, you know, unloading everything for a first rounder, I think we're past that stage. We have our top-notch uh, studs. Our skillful young prospects, we're fine. So boys, we're going to leave it right there. What do you think we should do? Last screen I'll check would be the... Oh shit, two more screens we can check. Hang on. God damn it. <laughs> All these things running through my head. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. The activity feed. We did another month. Let's see. We're close to the trade deadline. Any crazy trades happen? Trading. There you go. Francois Boschman and Rene Bork traded to the Colorado Avalanche in exchange for Graham Knott and Robin Norrell. So... 
Basically, Chicago acquiring veterans for their playoff run and the Colorado Avalanche acquiring prospects. I don't know that Knott and uh, Robin Norrell guy, but Francois Beauchemin and Rene Bork to the Chicago Blackhawks, all right? So that's why I want to keep on checking the activity feed. You guys go nuts with that fan art if we see a blockbuster trade happen, all right? So... Last but not least, now I can effectively say that, progress reports. Let's see who's progressing. All right, so modified, all skaters. So Austin Matthews up there at 21. Um, I want to continue to grow him for the last 20 games of the season. Where should he play and who should he play with? How do I increase his growth? Does he have to play with people he likes? Does he have to play below um, where his, his skater role is? Does he have to play above it? Let me know, boys. I felt like the second line, you saw the best growth out of Austin Matthews. Uh, Morgan Riley, 16. Kirby Reichel had some really nice growth this year. He is a top six forward. I should worry about him. I should throw him into the, the, the third or second line, maybe. See if I can get him to grow. William Nylander, he's up there at 83. Some nice growth. And Mitch Marner, there you go, boys. So we had the issue with Mitch Marner's growth ever since I put him on the fourth line. With power play time, we've seen his uh, growth a double just in the last month alone right so you might we might have that same issue with austin matthews he's playing too high up right now you want to see him grow you got to play him a little bit lower so if that's the case let me know boys uh defense yeah i already checked that goaltenders let me see no growth out of our goaltenders in the system bebo went up by one let's see bracco is a 64 now keaton middleton some nice growth core uh Korosteloff, see what I mean? We can go McCallick and one of these guys for that center from Ottawa. And then we can also go maybe Ballsack and another one of these guys to Pittsburgh. Get, get him back with his roommate, Phil Kessel, and get Daniel Sprong as a sniper for all of our playmakers. Pl uh, tons of things that we can do here, boys. So let me know. In the next video, we're going to get the trade deadline done, and we'll take it up to the NHL draft. Anything and everything, boys. And also, go nuts with the fan art. If you want to have your fan art appear in one of these videos, just send it to my Twitter account. You can find that down in the details, all right? Or ask somebody in the comment section. So, boys, there it is. The 27, 28, and 6 Toronto Maple Leafs are signing off. Next video, we finish the year one season sim. Be sure to check out our website, 2bcsports.com, where the hockey talk continues. Find myself and others in the live interactive chat or dive into the active forums to talk about sports and gaming. You can also find us on Twitch where the live streams come to life. Walk off!